Hello everyone and welcome back. So tonight I'm heading back out again because it's looking promising for yet another clear night. Well, semi-clear night anyway. So I'm going to head out, meet a friend and we have one or two locations we want to check out tonight for another episode of Night Sky Photography. Off we go then. I pulled over to my first location for this evening. Now we are on the side of the main road because what we have found is a really nice field full of straw bales. Now, when you do see straw bales, there's a couple of things you need to take into consideration. This is a farmer's land at the end of the day and it is his hard work. So if there's no public right of way, or if you can't see or take photos of the bales from the side of the road, don't go fencing into his field. Um, you are trespassing. So luckily for us, this field where the straw bales are has a public footpath that dies, goes directly through the middle of the field. So this is a joy. Now I'm waiting for my friend to turn up and this big grey cloud to move away. We've got clear skies all the way around, apart from directly above us. Uh, so we may be waiting for a little bit. All I've gone down here is I've come down quite low so I'm just about halfway down from the hay bows to give a nice composition shooting up and the Milky Way is heading up this way. Uh, so first of all I've gone and taken about five to eight shots of just the sky of um, eight second exposure 1.8 at 6400 ISO. Now the reason I'm using about 5 to 8 is so I can compress them back on the computer to make a cleaner image of the sky itself. I'm using my Nikon D610 along with the Sigma 24mm 1.4 Art. Now it's a really nice lens that I enjoy using for astrophotography and this sort of method I use quite often on some of my major photos along with a couple of single exposures and a uh, star tracker. But this one, I enjoy. So that's what we've done first of all. And then in just a moment, I'm going to go around, do a little bit of light painting on the hay barrels to then try and bring out the foreground. At this point, again, I'm going to take several shots, probably about nine photos now. And in each photo, I'm going to light up a different part of the hay bale. So to begin with, I'm just going to light up this end of the hay bales. And now what I'm doing is the light painting part of it. And then I will, once I've got the amount of numbers I'm wanting, Next, the camera's going to go again, and I'm going to pop over to the other side and now highlight like the front here, sort of thing, just like this. And the camera's going to take another shot now, and I'm going to pick just another area to light up maybe the floor, just along here, sort of thing. <coughs> And then last of all, I'll probably do one more in the direction shooting back over this here. 
sort of thing. And I'll say I'll just do one more coming from the right hand side of the camera and just pretty much just light up when I hear the thing go again. There we go. Light up just this whole bit. And then that I'll take all of those images and pick out the best ones. So I'm happy with the straw bales and I've got myself a couple of shots there that I really like the vertical one so I think I'm going to go with that in the end. I'm now leaving that location we're heading out to one more location for this evening of a fishing boat underneath the Milky Way well hopefully anyway I haven't lined that one up which is what I usually do but I'm almost certain it's next month but we're going to go check it out and if it's there today we'll give it a go so I've gone and taken myself down to Brook now and we've got this really gorgeous fishing boat so I sat in the middle of the um, mound of grass there and it's just coming out and the Milky Way is shooting just up at the end of here. The core's already gone down and the timing for this time of year the Milky Way will just sit here the end of it. So what I've gone and done is I have set up for one of my usual setups here is using my uh, Sigma 24mm 1.4 on my Nikon D610 and for this I'm shooting at ISO 6400 f1.8 and for six seconds and I'm going to take nine photos for just the sky and that again is going to allow me to stack the nine photos together to make a really clean image of the night sky so I'm going to do that one now and once I've done that, I'll end up light painting the boat from different angles and then using all of the photos together to create the final image. What we're going to do now is light paint up the boat. Now I've set my camera up to continuously shoot and I've got my torch now and the first shot I'm just going to light up so all of this down around here. Sort of thing. I'm going to wait for the next shot. All right, and the next shot's coming in now, and I'm just going to light up all of this bit here, just down the front. Now that that's gone, I'm just going to light up now the side of the boat itself. And then the, the next shot that comes along, I'm just going to do the grassy foreground bit here. Now we're just going to wait a few more seconds for another shot. I'm going to get up behind the boat. All right, and then on this one, I'm just going to do the top of the boat here and then the top of the mound. And then the last one, I'm going to go from the front of the boat, which is this shot here. And I'm going to shoot like that area up all down here and all together those couple of shots will create what I'm hoping a really nice image <laughs> 